at the top, False Blossom, we had a very exciting year, not by any grower means, but we had this <laughs> False Blossom outbreak where you go out to the bog and instead of flowers doing their normal flowering, they were shooting up like witches' brooms. So they had this funny behavior, and it's a, let me read you because I certainly won't get it right. It's a disease called by, caused by a phytoplasma. <laughs> And our good old friend, uh, blunt-nosed leafhopper, vectors that phytoplasma. So this is something back in the 19, early 1900s, 1910, 1920, 1930. Here and in New Jersey, practically put us out of business because those, those uprights, those flowers, don't get any berries. So you get no crop at all. And you can't just say next year will be better because once the disease is in the plant, it stays there. So for us to have a grower call us and we go out to this beautiful 70-acre hybrid, high-producing bog that's only seven years old and to find these witches' broom false blossom scattered throughout the entire acreage was a little... So yeah. this is a cranberry plant that has these false blooms? Yeah, it's a weed. It's yeah. A, really? So we worked with New Jersey and Erica sent samples down and we talked about it and we looked for leaf hoppers and there were no blunt nose leaf hoppers out there so perhaps it was vectored in earlier years and it's only noticed now. We think the only solution is to mow off areas where you see this and hope that the, the stronger vine can come in and maintain it but it is a very worrisome business. We scouted many other bogs trying to find the same problem. We found sharp-nosed leafhoppers in huge numbers at several bogs, but they do not vector the disease. So that was curious. So perhaps it was just a really good year for leafhoppers, but if there are no leafhoppers there, how is that disease being vectored? We found funky flower, Frank Crusoe's favorite business, at a number of bogs that has been there for years. So it's a similar disease where you have, instead of having a regular flower, you have a funky flower that does not produce a scientific term? That's it Frank is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. okay. So that that was another. Yeah, is there a Latin name for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, probably. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> so that was just one of the exciting things we did. Besides cranberry scale, continues to go on and scale, like I've talked about in the past, is just a little insect that is on on the uprights, and we've had. 10, 20, 30 different sites where you go out and they're dead areas and the scale, even though they're incredibly small, are all over the uprights and kill that spot. So we've worked very hard for the last several years trying to get the management techniques down so that we can kill the, the scale on that bog and then growers tend to find them on other bogs. But this year we had an incredibly exciting thing where the scale came in in the second generation where it wasn't missed seen and it was on the berries mm -hmm. so you go okay that's just gross so <laughs> they go through two life cycles and if you don't manage them in june you get them again in september so just more excitement in cranberry world and so when you talk about bugs bugs are exciting and that's only one of the 25 or 30 yeah, insects we have a really had. silly question about scale scale of plant or an animal it's an it's a bug it's a bug okay. okay and it's it's incredible it's in this picture that you have on your handout that that's an upright and you peel up a little black area and underneath that is the female scale okay. and she's attached by one little needle into the plant she's sucking the juices and then she releases little babies in june conveniently enough and it's 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 a miserable system the compendium came out. Pollinator conservation, we're thinking about bees all the time. Um, we did do some work looking at the, the pollen of the little wild wild bees that we have out there, and they some use cranberry, but a lot of them are specialists on spirea or clover or something like that, so that's something else we've been doing. And then Hillary has been doing that IR4 project, and we did flumioxazin which was a herbicide that um, works well, but it made the vine delayed quite significantly, but maybe we'll have an herbicide for you in it. That would be nice. <sighs> for moss. For moss. For moss? Moss and daughter it looks good against. Because we got 